Hello friends, Doug Fink, 16-time Microsoft MVP. Today I want to take a, a walk through how I do my thinking and process. Uh, what I want to show you is a function that I have called get what I worked on. You know, I've done, I do create lots of scripts, I create blog posts, I do videos, and my stuff is typically in many directories. And I get I get up or I spend it a week and or a month and I go, what did I work on? And I think we all have that challenge. And do we write it down on paper? Do we have uh, some file system that we do that we summarize our work as we go? So I started experimenting with another thing. I created something called Get What I Worked On. So I want to show you how that works and then stay to the end and you'll see how you can get this, this script. Um, and I'll show you how I use AI to get some insights. Let's do it. Okay, so here you can see a few directories that I was working with over the last period of time. I have some things I do, live stream GPTs, and I keep notes. I keep notes of what went on in the live stream or what I want to present on. I have something called PowerShell AI Assistant Scratchpad where I put a bunch of ideas that I'm working on. Here's my PSAI uh, module that integrates with OpenAI and all the features that that Python SDK has and I ported it to PSAI. I have something called PSAI Agent Stealth 2 where I am working on a PSAI agent. You can find out more on my meetup about that where I do uh, premium content on how the agents come together and what I'm building. And then Camtasia is where I keep all of my videos that I make, like this one. I also have Dfink GitHub.io, that's where I put my blog posts. And I have something else called PSAI Agent Custom, where I build custom agents based on my PSAI Agent Stealth stuff. So, this is just a sample of where I keep all my stuff. Um, I don't know about other folks, I assume that many folks keep stuff all over the place. Uh, because you, you know you just save ideas you're not sure what it is you don't know how to name it and you know that's how I do I'm pretty sloppy at that uh, and I'm fine with it and I've been doing that for decades anyway so I created something called uh, get what I worked on okay and what it does is it can take I can pipe in a bunch of directories to it and let's run it and there with just the basic defaults this is what uh, get what I worked on produces it goes into those files it does a recursion so it looks at all the folders and um, files in those directories and it comes back and tells me um, what did I work on yesterday? That's the default. Something that's a day old or a zero. So the zeros are something I worked on today, right? And this I just come back with days old, uh, full name and a, a, the last write time. So that's uh, kind of cool. So I can get up and then I can run this and then I can find out what I did yesterday. Um, and it can like go, oh, I worked on this, oh, I worked on this, like things I don't even remember sometimes because I just was hurrying to try some concepts, tried it, saved it, moved on. Cool, so what else can you do? So it's got another interesting parameter um, called days old, and we can run that. And now what I'm doing is I'm looking at the stuff that I've worked in the last week. Right, so you know, I span many different concepts. I work on things that are workshops. I work on terminal user interface concepts. I work on um, PowerShell Excel. Um, I work on here's one where I was doing it. This was a a live stream I did for my two and a half geeks uh, uh, series that I do with different folks in the community to talk and talk about AI and what their experience is, what they're seeing, what their clients are doing, etc. Find that on my meetup as well. Uh, and so on and so forth. Even stuff about, here's my Camtasia. I did a, a video on Copilot inside VS Code doing code gen and prompting. So that's a lot of stuff that I do across the boards now. So this is really cool. And because now I can Anytime during the day, or anytime if I, when I get up, or at the end of the day, I can say, "Hey, what did I work on today? What did I work on yesterday? What have I worked on in the last week, two weeks, month, two months?" Right. So, 
one of the cool things is I can run that again, and because of my uh, export Excel, my import Excel module that integrates PowerShell with Excel that you can uh, get off the gallery, install hyphen module um, import Excel, I can run that exact uh, line 12 again, but I'll capture the files, right? I'll capture that output, and now what I'll do is I'll just uh, export that to a file, a exp an Excel file, files.xlss, and Excuse me, and then I can just put a couple of flags on it. I want to auto size, auto number. So this is not about Excel, but this is what you can do with Excel. And now when I run it, what I get is an Excel file showing all of the stuff that I did. So now I have a way that I can keep track of it. Um, if I run this every day, I can name the sheet, uh, you know, the current date, the date that it ran on. Um, etc. So this is a, another interesting way that I can keep track of and I can have multiple sheets or I can append it to the end and I can then you know, glance at this or use it to go, well, what did I work on the last two weeks, three weeks, four weeks? And that's pretty useful. So it can, uh, I can use it as a tickler to understand what's cooking. Now, and that's how, this is one of the ways that I use my functions and I set up the output from them so I can then actually drop them into Export Excel, which is easy because it's just an array of objects. And uh, Export Excel is modeled after Export CSV and the rest of the commandlets in the PowerShell system ecosystem that handle uh, the object flow engine where you can pipe objects across the pipeline and then you can work with them and export them and, and transform them into formats of your desire. So. So clearly here I can then do things, you know, come here and I can say, show me everything in the last 30 days and that would work as well. We won't do that. Um, but what I will do is, so when I was looking at this, I was like, God, oh, this is really cool. This is really helpful. And then I was like, well, I have, I wonder if AI can help with this. So what I did was I decided I was going to use line 27 down here, right? Uh, I have something in the PSAI, um, module and if you want to get that you can do an install hyphen module space PSAI and you get that and then you can go get a key uh, really easy create your key in an environment variable um, and you're off to the races those instructions if you actually download it and try to do something like uh, invoke OAI chat if you haven't set your key it'll tell you that you didn't and where you can go get it so I figured let me take all this data create a file create a uh, an Excel file with it, but I want to do some analysis on it and I don't want to go, you know, so if I run this again, you know, I don't want to go through all these, you know, 76 files that I did since yesterday or the last week and figure out like, well, what did I do? Which things relate to what? Is there, is there some pattern that I'm doing? Um, and I will do a 30. Let's try 30 see what happens so I'll go grab 30 days worth of stuff and in the last 30 days I have 300 different files that I touched now if I wanted to do do my own you know manual analysis on it like what directories related to what what videos were where I was I doing when I was doing code what what blog posts were I doing that's a lot of tedious work so what I did was as I said I'm going to use invoke OAI chat I'm going to give it instructions, which is a prompt, a type of prompt, and then I'm going to give it a user input, put, which is another prompt, right? So I'm going to take all those files that uh, I got over seven days, right? Take that variable, and I'm going to pipe it to outstring, and then pass that into the user input. Okay, so I'm going to invoke OAI chat, which goes up to the AI model. I'll show you these instructions up top here takes these instructions and my all the files that I worked on the same with the thing you saw in the Excel files and I will have um, AI do some analysis and here's the instructions for the analysis and this is just a prompt it's not programming uh, so what I'm telling the in the instructions I'm saying you are an Ars Technica journalist write a summary about the files worked on the name of the files are a good indication of what was worked on look at the file worked in the similar time frame, we'll change that. We'll look at the file it's worked on in the similar 
time frame and see if you can distill a connection if possible. Make recommendations for future work. So I'm gonna take this PowerShell function that I wrote a bit back just to give me some basic understanding of what I worked on yesterday and then expanded it so I can look at a range of days. And I'm gonna, now I'm gonna connect that with AI to get some insights and, say, and ask AI to be a journalist, look at my stuff and figure things out. So let's run this up take a little bit longer because it take, takes all that data, gives it to AI. So what's cool is, not only do we get some insights, but it puts it in a markdown format. So when I open it, it uh, VS Code knows it's a markdown. And then I can use a preview on the output from AI. And then I can start looking at what AI came up with. And it says in a recent working period, a variety of PowerShell scripts, pro project files, markdown documents have been modified or created, providing insights into ongoing activities and focus within the PowerShell AI community. So it summarized that in the last uh, seven days, that's what I did. Uh, it talks about the working summary files. That's the, the code I was just looking at. It talks about PEW, uh, PEWSH Spectre 2E, which is uh, something I've been playing with about doing live displays in the console. Camtasia talks about um, recordings that I've done about autonomous agents and, and so on. Tells me this suggests the development of a tutorial, promotional content for highlighting the applicability of PowerShell and AI contexts. That's awesome. Uh, talks about workshop material that I started putting together. Talked about Talks about multi-agents. And this is all just from the file name. So there's no data from the actual PS1s, text files, MDs, or videos sent up to AI. This is just the file names. Um, it also looks at the key takeaways and blogs I did, um, connections and thematic insights. So this is all driven by AI, just looking at the files and then following my instructions. And it says, overall, the files created in this time frame hint at a robust interest in enhancing user interfaces, development training, promoting the utility of PowerShell and AI tasks, video documentation, and collaborative multi-agent applications. Um, yeah, rings true to me. And then recommendations for future work, enhanced collaboration, uh, user feedback mechanisms, comprehensive documentation, um, expand training resources, focus on whatever. And it comes out with an end with, uh, by prioritizing these strategies, the PowerShell AI development efforts can continue to evolve, ensuring impactful contributions and sustained innovation in the domain. So, thanks for hanging out. Hope this was interesting. Um, I will post a, a, a link to where you can get this get what I worked on script if you want to use it to look at a bunch of directories you're working on and just look at the, you know, hey, what did I work on yesterday, two days ago, in the last week, month, six months. Um, you can, and so I'll show you where that link is. I'll put the link in how to, where you're going to install PSAI and I will put this script up there as well. So you can, if you want to do the whole A to Z, you can see if AI can give you insights on what you're working on. And feel free to change the instructions, right? If you don't want it from a, an Ars Technica point of view, let's say you want it from something like a New York Times or a Wall Street Journal, or you want to ask Bill Gates to take a look at the names of the files and give his opinion uh, in that style and tone, um, this is your playground to work with AI. And this is just another way that we can blend PowerShell, your work, and artificial intelligence to help you go to the next level. Thanks for watching. Stay curious.